Oh. Hi guys, it's Lynn. Hey, so we've had a busy weekend. We had a bingo this weekend and while I was at bingo, I received a, well, my phone rang multiple times. I couldn't answer it. So I finally sent a text message to the person saying, can I help you? I don't have reception. And she said, my dog was hit by an ambulance and I don't know what to do. I need to put it down. Actually, the message, the first message was, I need to put my dog down and I was given your name. <laughs> I said, well, we don't euthanize dogs, but I got back to her when bingo was over and she happened to be at Lancaster Pets at that point. And um, she thought she was putting her dog down and this is Ace. So I said, no, you know, let me talk to the hospital. So I called the hospital and I said, look, what's going on with the dog? They said, definitely has a broken leg. Uh, we don't know what else is wrong. We would need to do x-rays and blood work. And I said, we will take on this dog. Please don't euthanize it. And they said they didn't even know she that was her choice. But she's 19 years old and obviously couldn't afford the expenses that come with a pet. Um, especially when they have that kind of catastrophic injuries. So she signed it. Ace over to us. And so he has a compound fracture of his back leg. Now, we just finally found an orthopedic surgeon at for, for Duncan who is going to do surgery tomorrow at see, Ace has to be dropped off at 7.30 in the morning. It is going to cost us between $5,500 and $6,000. We already paid $760 last night for x-rays and blood work. So Ace is going to be an expensive little project, but don't you think he deserves a chance? Huh? Don't you think you deserve a chance, Ace? Or so he's in a considerable amount of pain right now. I'm not moving him around a lot because it makes him cry. Um, and he's going to be on total um, crate rest for probably at least a month. Um, so we need you to It's not going to be cheap. And obviously our medical accounts are only so big. So if you can help us out at all with that bill, we appreciate it. But hey... That's what Second Chance does. We take care of the ones that can't, you know, no one else can take care of. So Ace is lucky to have landed in the arms of Second Chance. Um, I, I have to tell you another funny story from yesterday. I passed a possum on the road and I knew she had passed not long before. So I called Jen back here at the ranch and said, I know this is weird, but can you please go up the road and check the possum because it's now that time of year where the possums will have babies in their pouch. So Jen and another volunteer jumped in the car and they went up to check the possum and she did have babies, but they had already passed. But that's what Second Chance does. It's not about whether it's a dog or a cat or what breed it is or anything else. We're going to help any time that we can. So, And we can only do that because we have people like you that will help us out. So thank you so much for all your support. And if you came to Bingo yesterday, thank you so much. We had a great time. And uh, if you can help little Ace here, it would be greatly appreciated. And we'll keep you in, in the know of what's going on after his surgery tomorrow. But, um, yep, wish Ace the best, and we love y'all. Mm -hmm. Have a good day.